Oh, Guys! Yeah, 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 the fuck up. It needs to go to the yeah, fuck. Just kick some people at me. Hang on. If you're not. Oh. Alright. Tap this one. How did you feel coming into Deacon for the first time? First time at Deacon, it was uh, difficult because I went to primary school at Forest Primary and then everyone went to Tolopia. Shut the fuck up! Shut the hell up! How did you feel coming into Deacon for the first time? Um, it was actually quite a Hold, stop it! Fuck oh, Christ! Alright. Okay. Third time. Well, fifth time. <laughs> How did you feel coming into Deacon for the first time? Deacon was difficult at first because uh, all my primary school friends went to a different school than me. Well, when I came to Deacon, I mean, like I didn't, I didn't have any friends that were coming in. You know, I came from a different part of Canberra and I was, I was nervous. I was definitely really nervous. I was nervous because um, I was at a, you know, a Catholic primary school with, you know, a bunch of people who were, you know, continuing going to private schools and stuff. And since, you know, Deacon is a public school, there wasn't, uh, you know, there were only a few people, or only, I'd say two, or maybe one other person that was going to Deacon. So I was nervous, I was a bit scared because I didn't know anyone. Oh, coming to Deacon for the first time, um, I don't know who people, I was actually really nervous at the start, like, I don't, but I like, I kind of liked it a lot because when I got to each class, like the orientation, it was like, my god, there's like so many new things I can do, like there was like cooking, woodwork, that was like all amazing to me because I never thought about doing that at school, and then I ended up doing you know, cooking every year sort of thing, and I was just think it a normal thing, but like, back then it was actually crazy how many options that he had. Um, what did year six you think high school would be like? Um... Shit. I actually just thought it would be the coolest thing on earth. I was a bit let down to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, just a little bigger version of primary school. Which was completely wrong because my primary school apparently taught absolutely nothing. Well I knew in year six they were kind of preparing us for the transition. Um, so I thought it would be like kind of more fast paced, higher workload obviously in high school and primary school. Um, but yeah, I was, I was a little scared, I won't lie, I was a little scared. But that's the same as from high school to college now. You just have to see what happens. Oh, when I thought of Deacon, I had two sisters that went there beforehand and um, I heard a story of a kid getting a D and then throwing a chair through a window. But that actually happened, apparently, because when I went to Miss Lumpy's classroom, which had a chair thrown through it, there was, um, there was like, you know, a little boarded up area, like a little bit of the uh, year during orientation, so I was a bit nervous going to the school thinking that all the uh, year 10s and 9s were a little bit like, like off the rails a bit, so. I thought it'd be like out of the movies, like Mean Girls, and like 2004 chick flicks. Um, it's really not. I thought like you had to be like the coolest person ever and like be popular. And so I thought that everyone at Deacon there was like a social hierarchy. Yeah, same. I definitely thought it'd be a lot more work. I thought it'd be much harder. Um, and I thought it'd be hard to kind of um, get used to it. But yeah. And was it or? Um, I would say at first, yes. Definitely at first, yes. But after a short while, you know, you kind of get into the rhythm of it and it starts to feel normal. Yeah. And is it, at what point did it start feeling normal? Like end of year seven? Um, yeah, around mid to end of year seven, like around semester two, year seven. You just start to feel at home, I would say. And how much did camp help with that, like year seven camp? Oh, camp was just great because if you're just coming to school every day, you know, Monday to Friday, um, it kind of feels like routine, you know, you have to be there, but if you're at camp, if you're staying a couple of days with the people that you're around, you kind of build a closer bond to them. It was a school activity in itself, but like, you were also at the same time outside of school, so you could see people outside of what their school personas are like, and it was really nice hanging out with everyone in a different area, in a different environment, and connecting with people on a whole different level. That was awesome. Um, just like the camps, because like, they're good because you get to be with everyone and like hang with everyone. The camps are pretty fun. 
Year I Cares was kind of fun. I hated Year I Cares. Really? I liked it. The water was so cold. But it's like, wait, no, that was Year 7, my bad. <laughs> um, I remember Year I Camp a lot. I remember that was probably one of the funnest things I've done. I don't know why. I remember Year 7 camp, I really hated it. I found it cold and kind of crappy. I, I, I really didn't like Year 7 camp. Maybe it was because I didn't know as many people. But Year 8 camp at the beach was awesome. And that's one of my fondest memories. Year 7 camp, uh, the raft building contest was a complete disaster because my tutor group uh, decided that a hexagon shaped raft would be the best uh, sized raft to be able to float. And I said, no, it won't, just build a normal shaped raft. And sure enough, it didn't float and it fell apart. Uh, year 8, my highlight would have definitely been Year 8 Hass uh, because we had to, we had a suburb building. Uh, assignment where we had to build a new suburb in Canberra. Uh, there's an area um, near the zoo and the equestrian park in that dam. I'm like, well, I'm just going to fill in the river so there's no more river. I'm going to knock down the equestrian park because, like, it's an equestrian park, who cares? Um, I was then like, it's a, there's a golf course, there's a lot of space on the golf course for houses, and I'm like, why not just knock down Canberra Zoo? It's not exactly a good zoo. I mean, Toowoomba Zoo in Sydney is a much better zoo. And Mr. Grimes said, that's fine, but you have to relocate the animals. I'm like, yeah, fair enough. I'll build an abattoir. And if you don't know what an abattoir is, it's a slaughterhouse. So, um, how do we get to abattoirs? How do you think your outlook on life has changed since you said? Um, <laughs> I feel like I definitely I don't know, in year seven, I definitely thought that school was the most important thing ever. And I was just, like I really just thought that everything led towards like doing well in school and everything. But to be honest at the moment, like since then, I think having like proper relationships with people and just like getting, I don't really know how to explain it. I just feel like school isn't the be all and end all of it all yeah, anymore. But no. it's def I mean, it's definitely important, but it's just not quite as important as I thought it was when I was in year seven. Yeah. Like school is everything. Academically less focused. Yeah. More focused on like what I enjoy, what I want to do. I don't know. I guess Deacon's kind of like made that for me because Maris was sort of like, this is you, this is what you have to do. Whereas like Deacon's like, broadened my horizons sort of thing. In year seven, I was so goofy. I was crazy. I just wanted to do all these fun things and be older. But now that I'm actually older, I've kind of matured a lot more and I'm more focused on getting a job, getting money, just the basic needs you in life that you didn't have to worry about like as a kid. I think we're just very, like way more mature than we were. Yeah. So we take things differently than how we did. Yeah. This sounds stupid, but like really in every way, I feel like I was so young when I started high school, and I really had no idea. Like I thought I was on top of it all, on top of it all, but I really wasn't. I don't know. I take life more as it comes now. I, like I don't plan as much. What happens? I just kind of like ride the wave. My outlook was like really, really like. I don't want to be like surprised about anything. So it's like you, um, like you always have your like your eyes on everything. Like you're always looking at everything, see if anything changes. Like now it's like, oh, I just lay back. Like I've I've already been kind of subjected to surprises. So what's what's one more? Like if it's a bad thing or if it's a good thing, I'll just handle it. Um, what is the most important thing you've learned about yourself since st uh, starting at Deakin? Um, probably to be myself not other people, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like not to impress others. For me, I can never, it's never too late for me to be the person that I want to be for myself. I am who I am, I do what I want. I don't live my life to please other people. Like being true to myself and like not caring what other people think. Cause like at the end of the day, I'm the only person that matters. No, <laughs> I can't say that. Um, I think like, Staying true to myself and like not caring what other people think of me. It's probably that people don't care. People don't care about you as much as you think. That sounds bad. Oh, okay. That sounds like a bad thing. It's that uh, you know, people 
like, you know, you should worry about yourself, you know, it doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks. I've learned that I have a lot of mental strength and that I keep, I push myself a lot and that I can make through, I can make it through anything. Yeah. Yeah, because... <laughs> I feel like I've had a really different high school experience to you guys. I feel like I've had a very different experience to you as well. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've all had very different yeah. experiences. Yeah, that's, that's the whole point of this, for each of you to talk about your different Yeah, and I feel like I'm the only one talking. Being good at something isn't enough to um, get you by on something. You also have to work hard at something if you want it. You don't just have to be good at the skill, you have to work hard at, at the skill. Put in actual work. That's actually, that's diff that's going to be difficult in order to achieve what you want to achieve. Major events or situations in the past four years that have made you the person you are now? I think, I think it's more like, instead of having a few big events that have changed me, it's more like just smaller ones that are just constant. So like little increments? Yeah, just, just a little bit. And then it's just over time, the past four years, that it's just changing up. Well, I mean, there have been a lot of like small, like increments in school life that um, like changed me for the better. Um, but personal uh, things that have changed me, um, uh, family stuff. Yeah, a lot of family stuff has happened in since year seven. Going through like a kid and his brother going through like uh, like parents like splitting up and stuff. It was really it was really weird. To deal with while going through all this. It was already crazy as it was, but just having that was like a ball of fire. Um, but yeah, I know that everyone has their own little things they have to deal with, so I didn't try and complain that much. How has all those things um, shaped your, like, I don't know how to say this, but your um, view of change? As a, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, I, I think it's definitely a good thing, um, 100% definitely a good thing like um, sometimes the amount of the amount of things thrown out thrown at a person can definitely like make them better any advice for the year sixes coming into year seven next year don't um, don't be scared it's really fun don't do drugs and um, just go to class Calm down, don't be like, you know, hyperactive and annoying, don't scream in the corridors. Think of high school as a learning experience. You're not going to get everything right, but through your mistakes you're going to learn how to do things right, what works for you, and you're going to build as a person, so definitely focus on yourself. Don't, don't be loud, don't be annoying, don't scream, just don't, don't be like a, like a toddler that's grown up, it's actually so irritating. In primary school, you just go to, to one class, just every... Every day, you just got one class, and you got the same teacher. Because when it's high school, it's you know you got like what is it seven classes? You don't even get that in college. But but um... I'm sorry, is your advice to go to class? <laughs> <laughs> Especially if it's raining, don't 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 clog up the corridors. Don't just stop and sit down in the middle of them. I actually hate you to do that. It's actually so annoying. How did you feel about lockdown? Which one? Oh wait. <laughs> Uh, how did you feel about lockdown? The worst part of your tent. It's like, literally, I can't study at home, especially when there's literally my gaming computer in front of me, which is what I used to do studies on. You're like, I think literally 80% of year 10 students were, well, they were there on the call, but half the time they probably just have their mic muted, turn the camera off and doing something else. Like Elle is like nodding her head, <laughs> by that way there. And it was just bad. I stayed home. The only good part is the fact that I could have food while studying. That's about it, because my fridge was like five meters away from where I was. But everything else, I can't study, I couldn't study. The school study outline was shit. The modules were horrible. <laughs> what did I Science say? faculty <laughs> need to step up their game for that one. I guess I was more disappointed in um, some of the classes and some of the teachers' attitudes on it, especially not to be picky, science did not do well. You know, the science faculty just, you know, they, they were all kind of tripping over their own decks. Science, they thought they were so clever because coronavirus is a science thing, you know, they got diseases and 
So they thought they were really clever, they thought, oh, let's make modules for like the next three years to come, because that's how long it's going to last, it's going to last another three years. Online learning was a, a joke, 30 minutes of like English, half the time I didn't even say anything, I had my camera down and built a muted, just playing like a game. Um, the questions themselves, not hard, but science, oh my god. <laughs> Fucking science, I hate you so much. I hate you. I actually hate you. You are the worst. You're the worst. You're the worst. I, I hate you. Honestly, if, if I could do change one thing about lockdown, it would be just remove science. Because they've, like, they've ruined the three years of science. I had, oh, this is a cool term, this is that. I know I just hate science. I hate it. The only thing that's the saving grace of science is elective science and people that don't make you do the module. Because the modules actually reek. They are fucking awful. They're so shit. Change them. Uh, what are you most looking forward to about college? Um, definitely freedom. I don't know, probably the more freedom in classes. I know that's a basic choice, but like, I hate PE. Mostly the freedom, to be honest. Like, yeah, you get to come and go a lot, and like, it's not just like you're restricted to one place like, the whole day. Just kind of change. I think I'll be a lot more productive in college, not because there'll be any better or worse, but just because there will just be a different building. Learning at new, learning a new format, like from primary school going into year, uh, going into high school, you had to learn learn uh, another like format of how school works. It'd be interesting going into Bondo, like how their school works. Probably like meeting new people. Yeah, yeah, and the classes. Yeah. I get to do more of the curriculars that I'm more interested in, like psychology, sociology. Um, you, you're more of an adult, like from when I, like it's the same feeling from year six to year seven. Now that I'm going to college, I'm more excited to be way more independent than I am now. Um, the free lines off, so I can like study. I'm kind of just looking forward to you know getting like a couple free lines off and like doing things more like separately because all my classes were like you know. Everyone has this on certain lines, but because of Canberra College, there's even more opportunities to do what you want. I like an Alfred Deacon sort of thing. Like there's more classes, different versions. I'm most likely not get be in the same class as a lot of my friends. So I'll be able to like meet new people, talk to new people from different schools sort of thing, which is pretty exciting. When you think about the next five to ten years, what do you find yourself worried about? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> worried about a job. Probably like getting a job. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, just finding like a job that's like interesting and not, you know, boring. I don't want to be like behind a desk all my life, you know, bored out of my mind. I want to be just doing something interesting. Well, definitely worried about, you know, having to kind of choose a career path, you know, having to make big decisions that are actually going to affect, affect my life directly. When you think about the future, what do you find yourself most worried about, like five, ten years from now? I'm more, sometimes I worry that I'm not going to be in the place I want to be, whether that's work-wise, career-wise, friends-wise, but looking at the bigger picture, I actually am confident that things will work out. Um, obviously I want to get into uni and like do all that kind of stuff, so I guess worried that something's going to happen and I'm not going to be doing as well in college or like that I just won't be able to keep up to the standard to get a well enough score to get into a university but like I'm sure it'll be fine and then like obviously in the next five years I guess thinking about getting a house. <laughs> next five years? You'd be like, <laughs> I wouldn't <"Hey."> leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, oh. wait, how old will I be? 20. I'll be 20. Maybe at a pop. <laughs> we'll see. I don't really know, to be honest. I haven't thought about it that much. But I feel like it'll be good. I think it's definitely going to be more good than bad, but we'll see, I guess. I'm not really worried about my future, but. I don't know, I haven't thought about that actually. I don't, I haven't, like, I've more looked at good of what's going to happen to me in you know, the future. It's like, oh, you know, I'll go to uni, or you know, hopefully buy a house, I'll do something. But I haven't really looked, it's like, oh no, this might happen. I'm, I haven't really been worrying about the future, I've more been excited and looking forward to what's 
happening next for me. Press the space bar when you're... Oh my god, what the... I look stoned. Is that just me? Uh, so you haven't changed much? Exactly. Okay. I look... I look like an alien. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Alright, uh, bet, bet, bet. Should I do it like that? No, just... Okay. And go. My best memory of Year 7 is probably making new friends. Um, what I'm most excited for the future is probably making new friends as well. And, uh, what do I want to be like when I'm in Year 10? Um, I want to be, um, lit. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. All I, all I can say is, yes, seven mate, I am lit. Aha, kidding. Do you remember giving that interview now? I actually do. I was, bro, my teeth were like that. And that's what 10 grand gets you to. As a person, how have you changed? Oh, I got a deeper voice. I got like... Oh, I don't mean like, as a person, as a human being, oh. how have you changed? No, getting, getting hair, getting a moustache and shit. He means mentally. Oh, mentally. Mentally, emotionally, like a human being. Oh. Uh, confidence is the key. Year sevens and year sixes come into it. Deacon, confidence. Meet new people, don't be afraid. Mm, just press play on your own. Oh, joy. Okay, here we go. My favorite memory in year seven was definitely the swimming carnival. Like, there were a lot of um, new people there that I got to meet, made a lot of new friends, and it was really fun chilling off in the pool. Um, my, uh, what do I want to be like in year 10? I probably want to be uh, tall, sexy, and just made a lot of new friends as well. So, it'll be pretty fun. Well, at least one of those tall and sexy things happened, so. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I'm so adorable though. Is there more? I was, I was a chick magnet back then, man. <laughs> How many more seconds is there of that video? Oh my god. What do I want to be um, when I grow up? I probably want to be something sporty, like soccer player or something. That's it. <laughs> I'm so cute. Um. So, okay, what do you want to be when you're grown up now? What's your ambition like? Um, I'm personally going down the tradie path. But if not a tradie, definitely a psychologist. Um, what do you want to be when you grow up? Something for me, um, probably psychology. I would probably like to pursue something like as a psychologist. And also something in writing, definitely. Okay, I asked you this question because I have footage of you answering that same question while you're in year seven? What? No! <laughs> you good? Yep. No! I don't wanna see it! I don't wanna see it! I'm not saying it! Alright. Just. No, watching. <laughs> no! Just. No! <laughs> oh, this is. I don't wanna watch this. I do not wanna watch this. Do I have to watch this? Just, just watch it. It's fine. It's a good answer. <laughs> What I'm most excited for in the future is the new people, the new opportunities, the new activities that will come and yeah, basically just um, just every, just what could happen in the future could be great and that's it. Um, what I want to be when I grow up, I want to be a writer when I grow up because you can use your imagination, you can write all this crap there that you really love and people can read it and just like kind of accept you for what you write and you can just let all your emotions out and yeah. This is from the I wrote of my day. But that, I will admit that was actually not a bad answer. So why do you think that's like, like part of it's changed, like you said you want to do psychology as well. Why do you think like writing appealed to you as a year seven? It, for me, in year seven, it was more of an outlet to get to know who I really was, and it kind of just extended different branches of my personality, and I got to know more of me in year seven. Yeah. So, like, what's, what appeals to you about psychology, then? 
Well, psychology with me, I am very, this is not a cocky shit or anything, but I'm very good at reading people and listening to people and understanding different perspectives without actually judging them. And psychology to me just comes very naturally. And I can, it's, it's easy for me to um, understand people. So it's like connecting with people and that kind of thing. Um, okay, I'm going to show you some old footage now. Just grab the laptop and press play. Oh my god. My best memory of year seven is spending recess and lunch on the basketball courts. In the future, I'm looking forward to playing basketball, hopefully playing basketball in the NBA. And right now I'm just going with the flow, see what I'm good at, see what I'm not good at. And um, yeah, just hopefully play basketball. Yeah, the boys. Um, that's crazy. Yeah. So, how have those answers changed since have the what changed? those answers changed? Like, those, the answers to those questions changed? Um, they've definitely changed on kind of um, me figuring out um, who I am. Just like, like as a person and what I want to kind of achieve and like how that relates to my, um, my friends and what my family's done in the past. Um, I was like stoked on basketball, like I would just play it like 24 seven. I still do, and I still do think about it a lot. I just have different goals now, um, more realistic. I don't like to say it's, it's more realistic because like that's like oh, so many kids' dreams. Um, but yeah, I mean. What are your goals now? Um, psychiatrist or a psychologist. Yeah, psychiatry, psychiatry is a long, long route. But Why those specific goals? Like, what's kind of pushed you towards that? Um, I guess in like year seven, I'm trying to correlate this to like year seven stuff in, year, in school. Um, in school, I was kind of like, um, the teddy bear of like the of like the students. I looked like a teddy bear actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, like uh, a lot of kids are like this. Like they people come to them for like their problems and stuff. And I was completely fine with that. I was like, yeah, man, I'm like so cool. People coming to me and stuff. Um, uh, but yeah, I was actually really successful at that. <laughs> like my parents would tell me. Like even this girl, this girl asked me about this relationship advice. She told her parents that she got like advice from me, and they somehow got my parents' number and like congratulated, like thanked me for giving her advice. Cause she was like really sad, like she was like depressed, like really bad. Um, yeah, that was kind of that was kind of like they were kind of like, oh man, have you found your calling with that? Like, you know how to help people, um, and I think that's true too. Like, I do feel like I can and I could, and it would be it would be a shame to waste that.